Hey everyone, welcome to Apple iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over through the process of Log Me and Rescue and how it works and how we can connect to the computer. And uh, if you do not have, if that person does not have admin rights, you can elevate it uh, and use your credentials to administer that computer remotely. So we're going to go ahead and I have the, the Log Me and Rescue console installed on my computer. So this is a Mac remoting into a Windows computer. Give it a second here. Once you log in, Log Me and Rescue will start populating this information. At the very top center, you are going to see the section where it says New Session. You can go ahead and select on New Session. Now here at the very bottom where it says Pin Code, Email, and you can link it. We're just going to do the Pin Code. So we're going to select Create Pin Code. Now there's the pin code, and this client will have to, your customer can enter the pin code, which is here, logmein123.com, to automatically uh, log in. So we're gonna go ahead and go on the Windows computer. Uh, it is a Windows 10 Pro. Uh, it doesn't really matter what version it is, but it's a Windows computer. So now you're going to need to direct the customer to go to Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, whatever browser they're using. Uh, I've noticed in Windows 10 Pro or just Windows 10, Microsoft Edge does not work as well as in through uh, Log Me and Rescue. So you want to go ahead and select, uh, say, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. When they open up their browser, as soon as it opens up here, the URL. So you want to type in log me in 123.com. And when they get there, you're going to, they're going to be prompted to enter a six digit code, which is on this Mac screen there. So it's 499136. Now we're trying to remote into this computer because this computer does not have admin rights for this user. So we're going to go ahead and elevate it so that we can go ahead and do installation. So once you hit to start download, you may be prompted with a message at the on your download window. It's either going to appear at the very bottom with Internet Explorer, with Firefox may appear in the top right corner, um, and then and Chrome will be the same process as well. You can either save the file directly to your downloads folder, or you can just select the actual file and run it itself. So we're just going to go ahead and hit run. So we're going to open this file by clicking it. It's allowing Windows 10 to go ahead and open the program. So the program is open, as you can see, on the client side, which says here, connecting. A support representative will be with you shortly. You would normally hear this tone sound, basically that now the customer has ran the program, and now you can actually select this and select play or start session. Once you hit the session, a pop-up window will come up here. So here it basically says the UAC has been enabled on this PC. So that basically the person we're logging into the PC computer does not have admin rights and we need to make a change or so forth. You can technically go ahead and select launch remote session, but if you do that, then you will not see the UAC, the user uh, account control window that pops up. So like say for an example, let's just launch this and then you'll see on the Windows side the UAC that pops up. So let's go ahead and select this. On the Windows side, or on the Mac side, whichever computer you're remoting into, uh, it will appear this window. They'll have like 25 seconds to select something. If they do not, at the top left corner, as you can see, there's a countdown timer. It will just deny, and then it'll just close the application. So you want them to say, hey, you're going to get a pop-up. Can you select OK right away? So once they hit OK, now you're in their computer. OK, so here's the computer. We did not do a UAC. We did not enter our credentials. So we're remote in. We can do whatever we, do, we want to. So I went to downloads.com because I don't know what installer we're going to go ahead and test with. We're going to go ahead and select to the Explorer window. Select on your downloads. Uh, there's the Revo setup. Hopefully, I've already tried this to install. UAC did not pop up, did not need admin rights. So we're going to go ahead and try to install this Revo setup. So we're going to go ahead and select this. There we go. 
So on the Windows computer, it prompts me for the UAC, but here I'm physically remote into their computer, but I do not see the UAC. So this is the issue that if you do not restart the applet and put in your credentials, it will not it would not allow you to see the UAC. The other computer it shows that the Revo uninstaller uh, do require admin credentials. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then what happens is now you're going to have to tell the customer, well, now I'm sorry the UAC popped up, but um, I don't see it. What you'll need to do is have them cancel the UAC that's on their side because right now you can see I'm on their computer, but I can't move anything. So it like disables your remote connection. So now if you tell them select no, because if they hit yes, they have to enter your admin credentials and you don't want to pass it over to them. So you just select no, give it a second, and then now you'd be able to remote into their computer again. Since UAC popped up on the client's computer and you're wondering why can't you see it, but you can do everything else. You can map network drives, you can open files, et cetera, et cetera, but you can't install this application. So what you're going to need to do is tell the client, well, I'm going to have to end your session, which you can end it here or select on the X here. It disconnects it on the client's end. And then on the client end, you will need to say, you know what? I have to create a new session with you. So you create a new session, you create a new pin code, that's a cool number, 5,510,000. 5, and then you direct the client, again, could you go to back to your Firefox or go back to uh, whatever their web browser is? And then you would want them to go to logmein, 123.com again, put in the new support code. Now you just remote it into their computer. Now technically, this is the same process. You just hit start download. It sh well, should prompt you a window in the middle. If it doesn't, an Internet Explorer pops it in the bottom center or in Chrome or Firefox, uh, it pops it in the download area. So you want to go ahead and hit save because there's no option to hit run. Then you go into their downloads. So you go open up the Explorer. And then in Explorer under downloads, you're going to see the Log Me and Rescue. You want to go ahead and Hit the most recent one. If you select the older Logmein Rescue, that is for the older code. It's not the newer code. So now we've got, gone ahead and selected, uh, opened it up on the user end. Now it has updated it right here. So you highlight it, select play to start the session. Now, as you recall in the beginning, here's the UAC. So if you just hit this, launch remote control session or launch desktop viewing session uh, this viewing you can only view you cannot make any changes remote control session you can make changes to a certain limit and then here it says uac is enabled so, so you're going to go put in the local admin login or you're going to go ahead and do the uh, uh, if they're connected a vpn you can use your network credentials so let's go ahead and put password in and then you want to select on restart applet as a system service now allowing this to run it as a service now you will be able to see the UAC on your end through log me and rescue now it says restart as a system service now on their computer they will receive a pop-up now sometimes the customers will see the see the pop-up and they're like oh I don't know what this is and they'll cancel it and then all you can do is a remote control session. You cannot make changes without the UAC. Uh, so then now they would have to select OK. Now a pop-up window should appear on their computer on Windows 10 that's saying that the LogMeIn Rescue applet uh, needs to make changes to your device. And some people are like, uh, I don't know if I should do this. So you go ahead and select yes. Now, on your computer end, through the technician, this will refresh. And then you'll see this launch remote control sessions enabled, as well as the viewing. But now, down here, you don't have the, the username and password anymore. So now, when you hit launch remote control session, on their computer, they'll receive another pop-up. They'll have 30 seconds to accept 
basically it's controlling the view view system you can see it right here on the side of the video so they're going to hit select ok once they select ok you're in their computer now let's go ahead and make that installation so we can see the uac on our side so we're going to go ahead and run this program there we go do you see the uac now so now it's because you decided to do the UAC and run as a system service. If you skip that process, then you'll be able to do anything to the computer to a certain extent where UAC will pop up and you won't be able to see it, but now you do. And then now it pops up. Now you can go ahead and install. So hopefully that kind of helps you out in understanding when you're using Logmin Rescue, you do require to run it as a system service. If you are remoting into their computer and the computer is uh, at their home office, they're not on VPN, hopefully you will know what the uh, local admin password is because then you can use that. If you do not have them log in through VPN, give it a good minute or so, then when you remote into their computer, you can be able to direct them to visit the, the logmein123.com website so you can put in your credentials, allow them to select OK on the elevated uh, credentials there to make changes to their computer uh, and then you'll be able to see the UAC. So hopefully this helps you out in understanding how to use the Logmein Rescue and elevating the specific uh, access admin rights for that computer so that you can be able to make some changes. All right well thank you for visiting Apple iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's greatly appreciated if you guys go ahead and put in your comments also, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We greatly appreciate that. Always definitely helps out and shows me interest that uh, everyone out there enjoys a certain interest to these videos. All right. Well, thank you and have a wonderful day.